sleep over the years, I was often struck by how um, how vivid their presence seemed at a time when they were kind of at least partly absent. Um, I was quite interested in that interplay of absence and presence. And then separately, I was kind of um, interested in the fact that a kind of figurative representational painting is always a kind of symbol of something um, that's not really there, you know, particularly with portraiture, it's a painting of a person and obviously the actual person isn't there. So, so on the one hand, you had this kind of image of sleep and the kind of interplay of presence and absence and then the, the, the kind of the idea of presence and absence that was kind of inherent in um, a representational painting and a portrait. And I was just really interested in kind of putting these two things together and to see how that how that would work. Um, and also the sense of sleeping people being very still. Paintings are obviously still static objects. Sleeping people are unconscious and uh, just that idea of unconsciousness. Um, the unconscious and, and that kind of been a part of a generation of ideas for paintings.